common multiple of these numbers, 16 and 28, I'm going to use a method called prime factorization. And the first thing I need to do is draw out two factor trees for each of these numbers. So let's start with the number 16. So write that number at the top of your tree, and you need to come up with two factors that multiply together to give 16. So I'm going to choose two and eight, okay? Two is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that prime factor, and I need to keep going with the tree over here. Two factors that multiply together to give eight, two and four. Two is prime, so I'm going to circle that one. And two factors that multiply together to give four, two times two. Okay, and they're prime. Okay, so once you finish your factor tree, at the end, it's a good idea to write the number 16 as a product of its prime factors. So all that means is taking the prime factors that you've circled and multiplying them together. Okay, so two multiplied by two, multiplied by two, by two. Okay, you can also write this as two to the power of four. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing for the other number. So 28 at the top of the factor tree, and two factors that multiply to give 28, four and seven. Okay, four multiplied by seven gives us 28. Okay, seven is a prime factor, so I'm going to circle that one, and two factors that multiply to give four, two times two. Okay, both of which are prime. And just like with the previous number, I'm going to write the number 28 as a product of its prime factors. So you take your prime factors and multiply them together. So two multiplied by two multiplied by seven. Okay, and this can be written as two squared multiplied by seven. Okay, and you'll see why it's a good idea to write it in its power form at the end in a moment, okay? So there's one last step to find the LCM, the lowest common multiple. What you have to do is look for the numbers with the highest powers at the bottom here and multiply them together, okay? So if we compare the number two here and here, the one with the highest power is over on the left, it's this one, two to the power of four. Write this down, okay? So you always take the one with the highest power. Then there's only other, one other number to consider, it's the number seven, okay? So this is straight away the highest power, so you have to multiply these together, okay? So two to the power of four is the same as two times two times two times two, okay? So you have to calculate this. Two multiplied by two is four, and four multiplied by two is eight, and eight multiplied by two is 16. So we have to calculate 16 multiplied with 7, okay? So when we do that, we get 112. So that is the lowest common multiple of 16 and 28.